Hello everybody, this is Tekka. In this video, what we are going to be doing is checking out this application right here called Searchlight. It's really not an application, it's more of a GNOME or GNOME shell extension. Now, this isn't the format in which I have done videos in about a year, but right now I'm currently testing a super badass computer. This is the uh, the System76 at Works Pro it has a 4K display, and this is more of a, a webcam test here. Now, when it comes to Searchlight, I found out about it on OMG Ubuntu, wonderful website, you should definitely check it out. Basically, what this is, is something that is rather similar to Alfred, Mac OS Spotlight, if you're familiar with that, or other app launchers such as Ulauncher, which is one that I really like, or even here I'm on a Pop OS, if I go ahead and hit the Windows key, it kind of brings up their own cosmic type thing. And if I go ahead, I can switch between the open applications I have here or, of course, search for something just by typing it. Kind of the same idea here. So, in addition, you can see right here, I just went ahead and added the extension manager application, not included by default on Pop! OS. And this one's real nice. We can just go browse, paste it on in. And you can see right here, it is the first option. And if we go down, it doesn't have many reviews as of yet, but they are all fairly positive. So let's go ahead and give this a quick install install it and I am really curious to how this is gonna look with like the kind of brownish gray pop OS has going on here so here we are under installed user installed extensions we have searchlight let's go ahead and jump into settings before we open it up for the very first time to see what's going on here we have key bindings appearance our preferred monitor background color border radius width and height so I believe the default is control windows and space all right, there it is. It's a little too transparent for my taste, but for example, let's open up Firefox. There we go. So I wonder if I could get it to kind of match. Is there a dropper? There we go. Let's get it just, let's match the dock here. Select that, see how that looks. Ooh, the text color. There's no option to change the actual text color. That sucks. Now just real quick here, I'm adding this after the fact. This extension is newer. It currently definitely prefers a, a dark theme. You can see right here, I haven't played around with it too much, but it's already looking a, uh, a little bit better here. And if we go ahead and do what I tried to do previously and match it to the Pop! OS kind of theming, and then we go ahead and open it, you can see it's looking a lot better. It looks kind of like the just standard GNOME shell, but formatted a little bit differently in a pretty little floating window. Make this a little skinnier maybe. 0.33 is always nice, a perfect third, or at least uh, close to perfect. So now you can see, there we go. It's got our applications, it's got some settings. We can scroll down, see everything that we have available to us. Now it looks good. Okay, then let's go with this color right here. Select that, but boom, boom. Okay, that looks pretty good. So now if I go Firefox, we have the option to open it up from there. And we have our border radius. So if I drop that down to zero, there's that. That looks pretty good. Ooh, but that didn't change colors. All right. Let's bump up this. Whoa. All right. Okay, now it's just looking like the Pop! OS application launcher with bad theming. It is kind of cool that it's searching the uh, Pop! Shop automatically, though, for us. So if I wanted, like, Blender, there we go, and we just open it up from there, and life is good. Man, I really wish just the coloring was better. Maybe if we do that, make it a little transparent. Windows key. Yeah, there needs to be more color options for, like, the text and all that. So it definitely has some potential here. So yeah, that was, that was just a, <laughs> a real quick video. I'm definitely preferring the uh, stock like application launcher here in Pop! OS. We got folders and all that. I've covered all this in the past. You got your workspaces, you got just your launcher here. But that is really cool. Look, if we look at the screenshot, I mean, it looks way better here. It's probably just like interfering with the, uh, the default Pop! OS color schemes because that looks super good. And what is that, Garuda Linux? Ooh, see, that looks nice. Well, I think that's Endeavor, cause, just because of the space guy. So yeah, more options for colors, and I can see this being like the fault on a lot of these uh, random GNOME desktop environment fork distributions. But yeah, what do you all think of the webcam quality? That's one of the main purposes of this video. I'm gonna switch back to just webcam. Here we are. I'm gonna be pulling footage from this video for the review of this laptop, which is so far so good. I am having a couple issues with like, uh, external monitors kind of scaling properly with the 4k display but just 4k and scaling on linux is not that good the fact system 76 even has a uh, 4k display now is awesome though i'll, I'll take some uh, trade-offs here for sure with all that do make sure you subscribe so you do not miss that review of this 
laptop, and I do hope you have a beautiful day, and goodbye.